So we've been talking about low glycemic index foods, medium glycemic index foods. Now, of course, the high GI foods are the ones we probably want to minimize. So Martin, can you uh, share with us, you know, kind of those categories of foods that we need to be right. careful? Well, from the worst, those would be pure glucose, which would be anything that's pure starch. So most grains, which will be wheat, especially white bread or white pasta, white potato yeah those are those are the highest white rice and followed very closely by their whole grain versions such as uh, the orange potato known as yam or uh, whole grain foods Th those are like right at the top of the scale and you need to really watch it if you want to not get into the uh, depositing glucose convert it into triglycerides to convert it into fats all around your waist. So I'm assuming that uh, cakes, pastries, donuts, uh, sugary sweets, gummy bears are also probably in that group. Yeah, you're hitting it pretty close. Yeah, everything that's uh, bakery. Like it, if you try to limit your glycemic index in your food intake, you need to essentially pretend that the bakery does not exist. You, you said it, bread, donut, cake, all of those, but also very ripe bananas, also hmm, carrots and parsnips are fairly high sugar content. The super high sugar or glucose content will be alcohol and all sweetened drinks, like sucrose is about 70 on the index, and uh, HFCS, high fructose corn syrup, is about 87 on the index. So that's right up there. So your total caloric load or total glycemic load will be dramatically increased by consuming sweetened drinks or alcoholic drinks or uh, other liquid sugar, things like milkshakes and, and the likes.